the heart. This was the scene at the 2015 Miss Asian Global and Miss Asian America pageant when Pamela Lajera was crowned as Miss Asian Global. This year's event will take place on August 20th, 2016 at the Herbst Theater in San Francisco. We're at the new King of Thai Noodle restaurant in Burlingame for the Miss Asian Global Press event to preview this year's pageant and to meet some of this year's contestants. But first we'll visit with the reigning Miss Asian Global, Pamela Lajera. It's been a big year for you, not only are you Miss Asian Global, but you graduated from Cal. I did. It's, you know, everything has been overwhelming, but very, it's, it's been such a great blessing, so I'm thankful for it. Uh, what has your year been like? It's almost over. Can you believe that it's gone so fast? Sometimes it's, it's hard to believe that just a year ago I, you know, was doing an interview with you, but as a delegate for this pageant. Now I'm in a crown gown and sash. It, I feel like I haven't, I've, I've changed a lot. I feel more confident. I feel, you know, stronger to speak about my opinions and whatnot. But at the same time, you know, I still feel like I'm, I'm one of the delegates. I'm learning every day. Um, I still get a little overwhelmed by all the photography and media, but it's it's very, you know, that's, that's what the experience is about. And I'm happy that I've done this throughout the year. What is your advice to the new contestants? So you obviously have been through it all and you've, you, you made it all the way through into the top. Uh, what's the most important advice you can give them? Right. Speak true to your heart and whatever your platform may be, you know, give it your 100% and make sure that you are telling the world what you believe in and you're going to be using, you know, Miss Asian Global as a great network and if you win the title, you'll be using it as a, an amazing platform to just really making social impact in the world with whatever that you care about. Do you hear that folks? No phoniness. This is a, a great young lady who's accomplished a lot in a year and uh, and what do you, what's ahead for you? Well, I will be applying to medical school soon. You know, that it's going to be a long process. First and foremost, my big priority, I want to become a physician. I want to help the world in that way, heal people who are suffering. Um, the pageant is a great platform to be able to give, you know, show my, uh, show my platform to others as well as show them that women in STEM can do beauty pageants, can be in the media of Mia the Light, but also be really passionate about making um, breakthrough, uh, break, breakthrough research and just doing things with science, and that's what I really love. Well, congratulations, Your Majesty. Thank you And very much, uh, it's been great having you uh, as Miss Asian Global. Thank you very much. Miss Asian Global kicked off the press event festivities with a song. The contestants then treated the crowd with a dance choreographed by Pamela herself. Several of this year's contestants were on hand to meet the media and we spoke to a few of them to see what motivates them to want to hold the title of Miss Asian Global. So I wanted to compete in the Miss Asian America, Miss Asian Global pageant because I wanted to bring awareness for my platform. My platform is actually very close to yours and it's Asian women in sports. So there's definitely an underrepresentation of Asian women in sports either in front of the camera, doing the copywriting, doing the creative. So it's definitely my initiative to show Asian women that if that's your passion, you can absolutely go for it. Miss Asian Global is an advocate for her community. I'd love to be an advocate for the Chinese American community, um, in addition to the in, uh, Asian community uh, globally. Cambodians have not been represented previously in this pageant. I have made it my commitment to give back to the Cambodian community. I actually founded Cambodians in Tech in 2014 and we aim to increase the number of Cambodians in the tech industry through community education and inspiration. So I figured this would be a great platform. I talked with prior contestants and they really learned a lot and I realized there's some kind of fear inside me 
but you always have to do what you are a little bit afraid of because that's what challenges you. What makes me want to be Miss Asian Global is just seeing my fellow delegate sisters trying so hard to achieve their dreams and that kind of perseverance just motivates me to want to do the same. Miss Asian Global President Vincent Ma and pageant founder Rose Chung are anticipating another great pageant that's growing even bigger after over 30 years since its inception. I know that most of our delegates this year are from international waters. So we have someone from uh, Canada, we have someone from Hong Kong, we have someone from Japan that's going to be competing this year. We're excited to get a lot of these delegates coming in application-wise and um, we, we just couldn't be more excited. Well, this year we're really excited. We have some new challenge because we have a new venue at the Herbs Theater and also we are really excited to have our special guest star, um, our special guest uh, Jason Brown from X Factor. Got some Super star power coming in, huh? Yes, we do. As always, there is a raffle featuring prizes supplied by one of the pageant's great benefactors, Monster Products. The Miss Asian Global and Miss Asian America pageant is August 20th, 2016 at the Herbst Theater in San Francisco. In Burlingame, this is Dave Gingona for Fan TV.